What's going on YouTube, Uberman here. I wanted to do a quick video regarding the lawsuit in uh, Massachusetts and California regarding driver misclassification. This is a big lawsuit and I think a lot of us expected this thing to be drawn out for quite some time. And a lot of people were really hoping that drivers would become classified as employees instead of independent contractors. Um, it's kind of crazy. I really expected this to be drawn out a little bit longer than it was, but uh, it looks like uh, Uber settled on this case. And quite honestly, they settled really quickly. And um, the amount is 84 with a contingent 16 additional million on top of that, um, potentially for a total of $100 million. Now, for a lot of people are thinking this is a lot of money, but you're talking about a company that's worth well over $50 billion. This is a drop in the bucket to them. They settled this case for a ridiculously cheap amount. So with that being said, I'm going to go over some of the specifics of the uh, settlement here. Drivers will remain classified as independent contractors, not employees. That's a big one, guys. Um, a lot of people went back and forth with me um, when I first announced this lawsuit and everyone said that drivers would be classified as employees by the time this was done. I didn't believe so. Um, Uber has a habit of settling out of court in all of their lawsuits. And believe it or not, guys, they can afford it. Um, I don't want to speculate on how they managed to accomplish this, um, but uh, you know, I'll leave that to you guys. They always settle out of court, and uh, right now it's $84 million. And the number of drivers that they're going to be paying back is something above like 300,000. Uh, so really, guys, when you think about what they're paying each driver, it's not much. Um, it's really not. Um, so drivers will remain independent contractors. Uber will pay $84 million to the plaintiffs. There will be a second payment of $16 million if Uber goes public and overvaluation increases uh, and the valuation increases one and a half times from their December 15 financial valuation within the first year of an IPO. Uber will provide drivers with more information about their individual rating and how it compares with their peers. Uber will also introduce a policy explaining the circumstances under which they deactivate drivers in these two states, which is Massachusetts and California. Um, Uber will work together to create a driver's association in both states, California and Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Uber will help fund these two associations and meet them quarter meet with them quarterly to discuss the issues that matter most to drivers. Um, the lawyer um, representing the drivers in this case, uh, Shannon Liss Riordan, uh, was quoted as saying, this case, however, with this significant payment of money and attention that it is drawn to this issue stands as a stern warning to companies who play fast and loose with classifying their workforce as independent contractors. Um, I'm, I'm going to say, I don't, I don't think this, this isn't even a warning. This amount of money is nothing to Uber. So I don't see this as a warning. This isn't even a slap on the wrist. This is not, this is despicable. Quite honestly, I, I don't understand how she settled this case for drivers because this didn't do anything for drivers. Really, it, it didn't do anything. Um, Travis Kalanick was quoted as saying, drivers value their independence, the freedom to push a button rather than punch a clock, to use Uber and Lyft simultaneously to drive most of the week or for just a few hours. Um, that's pretty much the long and short of it, guys. There, I, I, there's a lot more specific details you can get into. Google it. You'll find it. There's information all over the internet about it. But I mean, the fact of the matter is, um, at a maximum, Uber is going to shell out a hundred million dollars and they're going to give drivers more information on, um, how you can be terminated. Um, in my opinion, this is sad. This is really sad. Um, and, and as with all, um, class action lawsuits, it's the lawyers that always win, guys. I believe the lawyer is probably going to get somewhere like a third or so of this amount of money. It's a shame. It's a shame. Now, I was never for drivers being classified as employees. I think we should keep our independent contractor status. I predicted that this is how it was going to play out anyway. And, uh, you know, a lot of people disagreed with me and said that, uh, you know, we were going to be employees by the time this was done, that Uber was going to go under because of this lawsuit. 
And, uh, you know, it didn't happen. I'm thankful that Uber didn't go under. Um, I just think, I think drivers could have done a lot better than what they got out of this. This is, it just seems really, uh, seems really out of the ordinary. I mean, I'm really surprised that this got settled this quick. So I don't know, you know, if you got some speculation that you want to throw out there, drop them in the comments. I'd love to read them. I've got my own opinions, but I'm going to save those for myself. You know, I don't want to put anything out there like that. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there and Uber on.